Time. The value of time. It's something you can't buy, can't purchase, can't really trade on. Yes, you can do things that will save you time, but that clock is ticking. Whether we're doing something about it, whether we're working on our goals, plans, our careers, families, and so forth or not, it is moving, right? And there's nothing we can do about it. Time doesn't stop for anyone. So it's very important not to waste it on things that don't matter. When you look at companies, when you look at businesses, they're doing well. Those that have billion dollar plus valuations, right? They're doing extremely well. Most of them are either saving you time or selling you the perception of saving you time, such as Uber, right? How many times have you stood in New York City or somewhere else waiting for your Uber, it says six minutes away, and 17 yellow cabs have passed you by? It's the perception of time. Furthermore, every once in a while we get these notices on social medias on social media networks about reliving this day hey do you remember this day back two or three years ago i got one of them and it was actually on google photos one of services where i use one of many services that i use to back up some of my things and i got this nice collage put together where it says hey do you remember this day back december of 2014 I remember everything about that day, everything. And three years have passed by. Where will we be in December of 2020, three years from now? Because those three years are going to pass us by as well. And it's really up to us how we're gonna treat and value and invest the time, the energy, the effort, the resources over the next three years that are going to be displayed in that final outcome, that outcome Three years from now, God forbid, final outcome. But you know what I mean. If you're looking three years back and then three years forward. So do what you can not to waste time on things that don't matter. Most things do not matter. Health of yourself, health and safety of yourself and your family, your closest friends, number one, at least in my book. Past that, you have certain things that you want to do in personal life, professional life few other hobbies and things that are interest you, you know, things that you like to escape to, whether it's a sport or some kind of activity. And then after that, um, there aren't that many things that deserve and value hours that we spend on them every single day or every single week. So ask yourself, once again, what are the things that matter to you? Where were you three years ago? And where will you be three years from now? Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, Subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, and most importantly, leave a comment or two with your own thoughts and ideas on this topic or anything else that you would like to talk about. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best.